Anil does a work in 90 days, Bittu in 40 days and Chintu in 12 days. So three different persons here and the number of days uh, required by each one of them when they are working independently is given to us. All right? So Anil can finish the work in 90 days, Bittu takes 40 days and Chintu in 12 days. The, they work one after another for a day each starting with Anil followed by Bittu and then by Chintu. Right? So they, they are like working one after the other right in a sequence so on the first day anil works then follows uh, then bitu follows and on the third day chintu comes and this this cycle repeats right this cycle will repeat till the work gets over right now if the total wages received are rupees 360 if the total wages for this work is 360 and anil bitu chintu share them in the ratio of the work done find the respective individual individual wages Right? So he says there is some work which Anil can do in 90 days. Right, Anil can do it in 90 days. Bittu can do it in 40 days. And Chintu can do it in 12 days. Total amount paid for doing this work is 360. And the total amount here has to be distributed among these three guys in the ratio of the work done. Right? See out of the total work, let's say one unit, there is some fraction of work that Anil would do. Then there is some fraction that Bittu does. And the leftover work is done by Chintu. So based on the amount of work done by each one of them, we have to divide the wages of 360. So find the respective individual wages is the question. You're getting it. So let's assume that if each person finishes one third of the work, Anil does one third, Bittu does one third and Chintu does one third. What will you do? Each person will get 120 rupees because they have contributed equal amount of efforts, right? They've done equal amount of work. But that will not be the case here because their capacities are different, right? Anil does it in 90 days, Bitu does it in 40 days, Chintu does it in 12 days, right? So obviously the number of days is different and hence uh, the amount of work done by each one of them would also be different. And moreover here there is a cyclic pattern that is being followed. So first day Anil works, second day, third day, fourth day and so on, right? We have, we have discussed such questions in our video also. This is I think model number 6 or 7 from time and work. So this is Anil, then Bittu, then Chintu, then Anil, Bittu, Chintu and so on. It repeats, the cycle repeats. Now, how do we solve it? <coughs> now you actually can go by unitary method where on the first day 1 by 90th of the work is done. See Anil can do it in 90 days means what? He can do 1 by 90 of the work in the one, one day. Bittu can do the work in 40 days means what? In one day he will do 1 40th of the work. Similarly if Chintu can do the work in 12 days, in one day he would finish 1 12th of the work. So we can say 1 by 90, 1 by 40, 1 by 12, find out the total fraction of work done in 3 days and continue uh, to, to get the total number of days and so on. But let us do it in a different way which, which makes it much simpler. What we would do is take the LCM of these 3 values 90, 40 and 12. Right? Take an LCM of all these 3 values. Like Anil can do it in 90 days, Bittu in 40 days and Chintu in 12 days. So. Uh, let's let's take some LCM 360 right LCM of 90 40 12 it will come out to be 360 let us assume that the work to be done is 360 units like like for example you have to uh, you know pack 360 boxes or you have to you know do some 360 units of work right you have to let's say uh, you, know, you know clean 360 rooms right 360 rooms and so on now understand uh, Anil can do this 360 units of work in 90 days, right? Anil can do 360 units of work in 90 days. So how many units will he do per day? Four units. Let's let's get the individual capacities. Anil will do 360 by 90, which is equal to four units. Bittu would do 360 by 40, which is nine units, right? Cut down the number of steps, by the way. Chintu would do 360 by 12, which is 30 units, 30 units per day. So now we know the number of units that they can do per day. Anil can finish 4 units, Bittu can do 9 units and Chintu can do 30 units. So how much of work will get over in first day? 4 units of work will get over. Remember our total work. This is our total work. We have concluded that 360 is our total work. Usually we work with 1 unit. We usually say that 1 unit is the work. This time we have taken 360 units. We have taken the LCM of their number of days so that is easier to calculate. So out of total 360 units, Anil has finished 4 units on the first day. Bittu will come and finish 9 units on the second day. Chintu will come and finish 30 units on the third day. And now you see the cycle repeats, right? Again, ABC would come 4, 9, 30, 4, 9, 30 and so on. So in 3 days, 
how much of work is getting over in three days the amount of work done is 4 plus 9 plus 30 so 43 units is getting done right 43 units is getting done what is the total number of units to be done 360 so if you just you know multiply uh, this equation by a value which is as close as to 360 you will get to you know you will get some vague idea about the number of days so in three days if they do 43 i think 40 into 9 is 360 right so 43 into 9 will be more than 360 let's take 8 multiply both sides by 8 multiply both sides by 8 so 3 into 8 in 24 days they'll be able to finish how much of work 43 into 8 so 320 plus 3 into 24 344 units you're getting it so the whole idea is in 24 days these guys can finish 344 units of the work who a b and c and remember out of these 24 days a worked for eight days b worked for eight days and c worked for eight days that's what happens right all three of them are not working for 24 days each person works for eight days so 8 3 is 24 and 43 8 344 now what is remaining the remaining work is see don't go by the length of the solution here or the explanation because i am explaining it in detail you can cut down you know 60 percent of the paperwork here very easily I'll, I'll show that also to you right what need not be put on paper so anyway what is the remaining work the remaining work is uh, 360 minus 344 units which is equal to 16 units now understand we have taken three three uh, days together right so uh, at the end of 24th day so 344 is done who will come on 25th day again a would come right the cycle will start with a again so a will come on 25th day and how many units will he do on 25th day a's capacity is 4 so he will finish 4 out of 16 4 he will finish what is remaining 12 is remaining yes or no 16 minus 4 12 is remaining now who comes b comes on which day 26th day b comes on 26th day right how many units can b finish in one day 9 units so out of remaining uh, 12 9 is over still there are a few units left out 3 units now who will do this 3 units c c will come on 27th day but understand c's capacity is to do 10 units a day so sorry c's capacity is to do 30 units a day c can do 30 units a day in one day 30 units so to do three units he will take only one tenth of the day all right c will do the remaining three units basically in one tenth of the day anyway time is not the concern here it is about wages if time is needed then we can say the total time needed is how much can you tell me what is the total time needed here see 24 days to finish 344 units then 25th day a works 26th days uh, b works on the 27th day only one tenth of the day is needed by c to finish remaining three units so i can say total time is 26.1 days 26.1 days right 1 by 10 is like 0.1 26.1 days but the question is not about time the question is about individual wages right how much will each person get so it's very simple he has mentioned that anil bitu and chintu will share them in the ratio of work done in the ratio of work done find out the ratio of work done how much is a done a has done how many units of work see four units per day for how many days nine days understand eight days of contribution comes here in 24 days a has worked for eight days and on 25th day also a has worked so total nine days nine into four he has got 36 units similarly b nine into four right 26th day b works and out of these 24 days 8 days b had worked so 9 into 9 he will he has he's done 81 units and remaining was done by c obviously out of 360 units total 360 units a has done 36 b has done 81 so subtract 36 and 81 is how much uh, 117 right so from 360 if you subtract 117 how much you get 243 or otherwise do the calculation right 8 into 30 240 in 8 days 30 per day 240 on 27th day he did only three units remember so 3 plus 240 243 so i will say 8 into 30 plus 3 this is 243 units. done now what have we got to know we have got to know the contributions 36 units by a 81 units by b 243 units by c and coincidentally the total amount 360 rupees matches with the total units of work 360 units 
So basically, 360 units, uh, 360 rupees has to be divided in this ratio. 36 is to 81 is to 243. So obviously, individual will be 36 rupees, 81 rupees, 243 rupees. Suppose the total uh, wages here were 720. So 720 you have to divide in this ratio. So 720 when you divide in this ratio, you'll get 72, 162, and 486. So basically, take 8, 36 is to 81 is to 243 as the ratio, and divide 360. So, so we are lucky that 360 and 360 are same. The total wages and total units of work is same. So, per unit 1 rupee, let's say. For each unit of work, you will get 1 rupee. A has done 36 units, he will get 36 rupees. B has done 81 units, he will get 81 rupees. C has done 243 units, so 243 rupees. Suppose it is 720 here. What happens? Total work is only 360 units, but amount that you get is 720. That means per unit of work, you will get 2 rupees. A has done how many units? 36 units. So, 36 into 2, 72 rupees. B has done 81 units, 81 into 2, 162 rupees and so on. So the answer here will be option 2, option 2 which is 36, 81, 243.